Hi, this is BD. Um, I was, I'm thinking, I was sitting here thinking um, of how my emotions are reacting, emotionally reacting to this whole thing that's happening. I find that I'm growing more morose, like I'm just getting emotionally dull. And I don't know if this is all part of her, of what they're trying to do. I guess if you are trying to push somebody to commit suicide, or you're just get, getting them to lose the will to live, or to feel like life is just a losing battle, or to feel like they're in a situation where they can't get out, this is never going to stop. This is all hopeless and helpless. It's... Resistance is futile, basically, against them. I guess this is this is would be part of the emotionals. This would be something. Some well, this would take place on some on some level on that emotional spectrum. To get to this place where you just feel, it's not depression because I'm not depressed. I've been depressed before, but that was because. I had set myself an impossible goal and I let everything in my life, every aspect of my life ride on the accomplishment of that goal. That was the wrong thing to do because I was betting on someone else. When you bet on other people, you lose. If you bet on yourself and what you can accomplish, in my opinion, you're better off. Something that is more hands-on, that you are participatory in, that you are an active participant. It gives you the feeling of achievement, of doing something, and ultimately accomplishing something. And even if it doesn't go quite the way you want it, you can always tweak it and get what you want out of it. Like when the light bulb was being created, after the 10,000th try, 10,000 times, 10,000 times I believe it was, I don't know if it was, I think it was 10,000, he was still optimistic. He said, I found 10,000 ways that it didn't work. I don't think it was 10,000. Could be though, I don't know. Because... Um, Kentucky Fried Chicken, the colonel, he went to, I think, was it 100? Or, or, or that was 1,000, I don't know. Different places to get his, 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 his chicken sold. They were giving him $99 a month on um, Social Security, his pension or whatever, and he couldn't live on that. All he had was... $99 and a great chicken recipe. Then he, he went to all these places and he had this plan. He said, I'll give you the chicken. And for each piece that you sell, you'll give me a portion of the each, each piece pieces you sell. So if you sell each piece for like 25 cents a piece, you'll give me 10 cents or you'll give me 15 cents. He'll supply them with the chicken. All they got to do is sell it and give them a portion of the, 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 the total cost. Smalls. Um, anyway. That, I think he went to almost a thousand before he got somebody to say, okay, you know what? Let's, let's try it. And that's all it took. And it took off. That's how franchise. He is franchising. But, um... Right now I can smell vinegar very, very strongly. Very strong, strong scent of vinegar. And I'm, th I'm just talking about how, uh, how I feel like my emotions are becoming dull. I don't know if you're experiencing this, but like I'm just becoming like emotionally dull because, and it's not depression. It's not depression. It's just 
I guess it's just having this person just resting almost like sitting on your soul or your spine all the time. They're, they're, it's like sitting on your spine. Or sitting sitting on your head. It's like they're just they're just there. This is not like paying a psychic to have a psychic reading. This person is there all the time. All the time. It's like sucking away. And it's not just the fact that they're there all the time. There's the hacking. There's the business. My business is all fucked up because of her. Every device I have is all jacked up because of her. Every device I have is being hacked into. My routers are all jacked up. Even the smart TV is getting messed up. Every smart TV, ever and and the it's like it's like I don't know this electricity. I don't know what is it with electricity, but you may find in your house if you find that you're getting like like these slight electric shocks at, at every visible nail head or anything that's there. It's like you can feel it. It it stings you. They're not static. I'm talking about the real shock. The, the cat, I just reached to touch her and I got, you know, it was so weird. I, I don't know. I mean, she, I have a feeling it's the water too. I'm not sure. I'm not accusing anybody, but I think the water has a lot to do with it. And I know it's not the owner of the place. It's not him. It's not him because everybody else is drinking the same water. If I give her the, 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 the water... If I give her the, the water from the, from the tap, she will have diarrhea nonstop. She gets the squirts really, really bad. Really bad. I have to give her bottled water. So with that being said, it's just... It's, I'm just... I'm just feeling... I don't know, like I'm just out of it. Like I'm just feeling detached out of it and like i said if 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 somebody wants you to to push you to commit suicide homicide or just lose the will to live this is the direction they will push you in where you just feel i'm not exhausted that's the thing physically my body is hurting but i'm not exhausted see the only thing that makes me depressed or really exhausted like i get emotionally so is if my security is taken away from me. I come from productive people. And if I'm not achieving, producing, and, 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 and you know, step, being in a, in a comfortable position financially, that's where the problem comes from me. I was raised to be productive. I was raised to achieve. I was an only child, girl. My dad always taught me to be productive. He was productive. His whole family is productive. And for this past year and a half, my finances have been shot. It's not because I'm lazy. It's not because I don't know how to make money. It's not because of lack of jobs. It's because my business is being fucked with. On purpose by someone. A malicious, vindictive woman. Who seems to have nothing to do but to mess with me. And make my life a living hell. I don't know if she wants suicide. I don't know what she's looking for. I don't know. Maybe she does. Like I said. There's something to be said for all these different types of death. For all these different types of death. Maybe it's just something they're doing. Just for people to look in our heads or look and see what they can see as we're dying to conquer that big question of what happens after death. I don't know. There's a distinct possibility. I mean, you can't deny the freaking science. It's the woman, it's out there. The technology exists and it is there. This is not woo woo or twilight zone or outer limits or something unheard of the technology does exist 
And I need people to wake up and see that this is a distinct possibility that I have a point. I have a point. This is now I'm not saying these things to for people to to listen and laugh and just, you know, to make fun of me or to you know the technology exists. Do the research. It does. This is not airy fairy woo woo stuff. It, it this is technology based. It's as real as you can get. Is not a psychic doing this to me. She has devices, things that they're doing. All this pain in my body, the microwave, all the shot. You know, it's not her mind doing that. She's not that powerful. She's not a uh, gene from, from, from X-Men. She's not a mutant. She's using devices, technology to do this. May not be for all of them. She may be a natural psychic. But these things are enhancing. They are enhancing. They're, 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 and why does she have to follow me? This is what I'm saying. Is Why does she have to follow me? She, why does she have to follow me everywhere I go? Because I, even if she doesn't, she has people who are following me. People who are following me and walking with me. Why would they do this? Why would they do this? This doesn't make any sense. This just doesn't make sense. Because the technology exists. Like I said, it, it's, it's out there for people to do this. But people, what I see on the news, they're looking at this because they're only protecting like dignitaries and diplomats and they're looking at the higher ups. But we are being affected as well, and we are being bypassed. We are being overlooked. They're only protecting the big fish and the big cats. What happens to us? Who's going to be on our side? Who's going to give accountability for us? They've created this technology. Who's going to take care of us? Who's going who's to make sure we're okay? We can't even get our voices heard. My friends would tell me, don't say anything because you sound stupid and they'll lock you up. And that's what allows these people to get away with what they do because they count on that. They bank on it. The people will just shut their mouths and don't say anything and they just waltz off with whatever they have. And know what's going to cause next. They're going to come right in your house and beat the crap out of you and just walk out and there's nothing you can do either. Because what you put up with, what you condone will continue to happen and it's going to get worse. And there's some truth to that. In fact, there's a lot of truth to that. What you condone, what you allow to keep happening and you don't speak out is going to continue to happen because they're going to think they're winning. You got to think what I'm saying. Listen, we're not dealing with people who are normal, rational people like you and me. We're all crazy in some way, all right? I'm not saying I'm the most sane person, most rational person, or the most intelligent person. No, 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 far from it. I'm just a schmuck like you, trying to understand and figure out life as it goes on, as it unfolds from day to day. But I'm not evil like that. You're not evil like that. These people have evil intentions Towards us. That will go unchecked. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. My friend tells me, don't say anything. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because they'll, they'll think I'm crazy and want to lock me up. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is the way how she sees me. She's a dear friend. But it's the way how she sees me. You hear the sound. You know where it's coming from. The way how she sees me. And that hurt my feeling. When she said that, 
it really hurt my feeling because this is, she's only saying, how, being honest, this is how she sees it. And it's like, this is the time when we want somebody to believe us. This is the most important thing that we need people to believe us. That something bad is happening to us. And people are doing stuff to us. We're not making it up. There may be some of us out there being targeted for different reasons other than my own. Your reason might be different, but that doesn't mean that doesn't minimize it, nor does it minimize mine. The atrocities against me are not minimized. The atrocities against you should not be minimized either. We may be targeted for different reasons. But nevertheless, targeted is the operative word. We just need people to believe us. How can I stay quiet? My business is fucked up. I mean, how many coincidences? Okay, electronics backfire all the time. Okay, how many fucking times? All, every fucking day, all day long? No matter where I move to? How is this possible? Prior to last year, this has never, ever, 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 and I swear, hand to God, been uh, never anything like this. Never, ever, ever anything like this. What the hell, man? I'm not crazy. I'm one of those who always pays my bills and my rent on time. My landlord can attest to that. Because that's what makes me feel in control of my money. Now I'm wondering how I'm going to pay the next month's bills. And I have a business that can easily make over $100,000 a year because it has done that already. Easily, without me, effortlessly. That's not inheritance, that's something that I created with my own hands. On my own initiative. And that's what she's messing up. That's what they're, they're doing. What, what is this about? I just, I'm just looking emotionally how I become... Like I'm just, I'm not tired. Like I just, I just get into the point where I don't know what to do. It's, I don't know what to do. Every time I put my ads out, the only place that is allowing me to advertise is Facebook. And Facebook is not yielding the kind of clients that I want. I'm sure it could, but I'm sure that my emails and my responses, the responses to my ad is being filtered. When I moved last year, I had around 5,000 clients. Now it's over 6,000 people, which means in over a year and a half, over a thousand people reached out to me through my website. Over a thousand. Even if I say 500, half of that. Uh, paying customers, maybe uh, 50, 50, I don't know if I've had 50 paying customers, maybe I've had 50 to 75, right? The year before, that thousand people, I would have had at least about a full five to 600 customers. That's what I'm talking about. Big, huge, gigantic difference. What has changed? They were sitting around my house. I got paranoid. I left. All this bullshit. Thought, you know, this girl was, this, this woman was being abused. All this crap with the boyfriend. It was, you know, granted that was all my fault. I should not have jumped to conclusions. I take that responsibility. But this here, I can't take responsibility for All that happened, um, being hacked relentlessly, being followed with vinegar, uh, sprayed, finding bumps all over. My cat's head got busted when I was in the, in, in the motel room. 
I left, came back, and she was bleeding in her head. She, I, all this stuff that happened to me. People just messing with me. Now, I've, like I said, when I first moved here, like two days after, somebody just passed outside and knocked on my window, the window pane. Have people coming at my door looking for somebody. You know, my uncle or elderly people, they got hacked. My cousin in my, my home country, they got people sending stuff asking, you know, um, telling them, you know, that they're going to hack their heads. Uh, my dad's house was sold last year. That's supposed to be my inheritance, but it doesn't matter. I just don't know if that had a bearing on it. The amount of stuff that happened to me last year. I mean, is it coincidence? All of them? And lost wages here. All of them, they're all coincidences? How can that be? I mean, never prior have I, I mean, it's just too many. This is what makes me feel, what is wrong with the people around me? Like, are they not seeing? And these are real things that are happening to me. Forget everything else, the hacking. What do I do? This, I'm being, everywhere I go, it's happening. Oh, come on, please help me. Forget everything else. Forget the voice. Forget everything else. Help me. My business is being destroyed. How, why are you letting this happen? At least that they can do something with, can't they? One would think, wouldn't one?